Today I just wanted to give you a quick behind the scenes of how I put together this image here. Um, this was a shot of a two-year-old that was rather quick and didn't give us a lot of time to, uh, to get uh, a ton of shots anywhere. So I'll just start by showing you the lighting setup. Basically it was real simple. It was a flash uh, bouncing into a, a portable umbrella and him sitting on the couch kind of kind of in the corner. So if we take a look at Lightroom, you'll see that I've got a total of six shots in this setup. Um, none of them really, I would say, spectacular. But I kind of landed on this one. I thought it was fun. It showed his, his personality, um, showed that he was uh, constantly on the go. So I decided to, to work with this one. Once I have the picture in Lightroom, I have a preset that I created uh, that basically I use on almost all my images, just kind of as a, a baseline preset. I call it Black Sharp and Vibrance. And basically what it does is kind of reduces the highlights a little bit, increases the shadows a little bit, adds some more, adds blacks back in, and then uh, increases the vibrance, which tends to be better than saturation um, in terms of not blowing things out. I run that filter it also has a little bit of sharpening on it on it uh, as well so it's kind of my my baseline uh, preset that I use to, to start working on images and I feel like it's uh, this image is a, a little bit hot so I'll just kind of bring the exposure down a little bit and then I'll, I'll start going from there so uh, obviously it's not composed uh, perfectly well, so I want to crop it a little bit. I hit the R key, oops, and just kind of zoom in a little bit. Um, let me open back up oh, just, a, just a hair. Uh, and just kind of straighten out the front edge of that bench. Uh, so, so we're kind of in good shape. And I think that's going to be kind of our, our final composition there. So there are a few things I did uh, image-wise. Um, I added a radial filter over the sky. Uh, I'll switch that to exposure. And that's obviously a little bit much. Um, so we'll just, just bring this in a little bit, put out a little bit of an angle for him. And so I'll kind of bring that back up a little bit so it's not so... Uh, so crazy, you can get carried away with the radial filter and you know, it starts to look, starts to look real obvious, I think. So I, I try to be careful with it. Um, I pro probably not always successful, but so I've got that in there. Um, the wall itself, I felt like um, I wanted to punch that up a little bit. Um, so went down into the saturation, just grabbed that little icon there and just kind of punch up the saturation there. Uh, a little bit until it kind of gets to a kind of real nice, nice warm color. That's generally it in terms of overall image adjustments. Uh, I did clean it up a little bit. Uh, there's some uh, spots on the wall up here, a couple spots down here. Oops, that's not gonna work. Oh yeah, it still worked like that, nice. Um, just touch those up a little bit. And I also, I wanted to get rid of this outlet in, uh, in here. So let's come in here and kind of get on that a little bit. Uh, when I first started using uh, Lightroom, I didn't realize you could actually kind of draw with these tools. Um, so I was doing a bunch of circles all over the place and it got real tedious, but and I watched somebody else's video and I realized you could do that. So it saves me a ton of time. So that's kind of the, the general edit of the, the overall image. Um, if you want to take a look, look at kind of the before and after, you know, I think it kind of cleans it up a little bit, makes it fun. And then the last thing I, I added uh, was a little window light up in here and that had to be done in Photoshop. So just did a quick edit in Photoshop. And came in here, kind of created some window panes, or light panels. 
Copy those. Copy those. And just uh, merge them down into a shape and then transform them into kind of a window looking shape here. And then once I got it kind of how I wanted it, um, really just needed to add a little bit of blur to it. So I brought down the opacity, uh, rasterized the layer, um, just rasterize, and then uh, blur, a little Gaussian blur, and kind of adjusted it to what I thought looked like it might be a decent window shading. Um, applied that and then obviously it's not really working well over the bench here area so I changed the uh, image mode to overlay which kind of really makes it look like it's into the wall and um, more of a realistic light. I just felt like it kind of balanced out the image a little bit without going overboard I mean, without really distracting your eye so much from the subject. So save that it drops it back into Lightroom and ready for export. If you have any questions, let me know. Or if there are any other images that you want to see how I, I edited them, uh, please let me know. Thanks.